And for example, in the Bay Area, there's a chapter of a group called IJAN, which is the International Jewish Anti-Zionist Network. Um, and during Passover, they have a community seder. Um, that's always really powerful and has been um, one of my traditions for a long time. And they usually raise funds and things like that for other Palestinian organizations. Uh, and then there's other queer groups in the Bay Area that have campaigns around pinkwashing and the way that Israel portrays itself as a queer-friendly space. Um, and people like that organize also boycotts of the Frame Line, the LGBT um, film festival in the Bay Area because they take money from the Israeli government. It's important too for us to uh, to always separate in our minds Israel from Jews. Right. Okay. Yeah. So when we're critical of policies of the state of Israel, we're not uh, generalizing about how every Jew thinks. Uh, so there are categories of Zionism. There are Zionists who are opposed to the occupation. Uh, there are. Zionism itself is a debated term in the, in the Jewish community. What is Zionism? What does it mean? That would be a good conversation maybe to have with Rabbi Kelman uh, and some of the students when we meet with them. Uh, so there, there's, there's Zionism, there's uh, Jews who are non-Zionist, there are Jews who are anti-Zionist, uh, there are Christians who are Christian Zionists. Um, when we hear the word Zionism, we need to make sure that we understand that it's a very complicated, complex term understood differently by many in the Jewish community. I like the active debate going on, and we need to be careful uh, also to differentiate between criticism of Israel and um, uh, historical anti-Semitism. Uh, one of the common retorts to any criticism of Israel is, oh, you're being, you're being anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. yep. when, when the UCC, for example, adopted two resolutions in 2005, uh, one calling for economic leverage to end the occupation and the other calling for the wall to be torn down, uh, we were described as anti, I mean, functionally anti-Semitic, even mm -hmm. though it's a criticism of uh, the oh. Israeli government policy, not Jews generally. Right. Okay? So, not only do we need to be careful in how we talk about these issues, we also need to be aware of how terms are used. So, anti-Semitism is thrown out there mm -hmm. as a general accusation uh, when, from a technical point of view, it's not always correct. Mm -hmm. There is anti-Semitism in the world, there's no sure. question about that. Okay. And as a church, we have been very clear in our denunciation and condemnation of anti-Semitism. Mm -hmm. We've supported uh, dialogue with the Jewish community. Uh, we, you know, a number, we've expressed uh, affirmation of our relationship with the Jewish community. We've denounced supersessionist th theology. Uh, you know, all of this um, is to say we need to be very careful about how we uh, engage those terms. Now we're coming up to the entrance to Bethlehem. Uh, this is the main checkpoint, the main wall uh, entrance. Uh, once we get past this first kiosk, uh, I would suggest no pictures. We'll be able to take pictures of the wall later. Uh, actually, the Green Line, though, we've already crossed. So we're in the West Bank, but we're not in, uh, we're not past the wall yet. Out of Bethlehem, we'll walk through this uh, so you can see what, it, what the whole system is like. Get in for us, but not easy to get out. The line is starting to form. Uh, 
uh, each of these cars has to go through an inspection uh, to make sure that it's not carrying anything dangerous into Israel, uh, even though they're still in the West Bank. Where we're uh, and they have to make sure they have permits for the car as well as for the person, each person in the car. So welcome to Bethlehem. Now you'll start seeing Palestinian police. Hmm. Which is what you don't see in Jerusalem. Correct. 